What do we have here? I have no idea. Okay, these are German helmets. What are the spikes for? Oh, they put the helmets on their head, they'd bend over and run into people, that's how they fought wars. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Sounds pretty efficient. <laughs> I came down to the pawn shop today with a couple of helmets I found in my dad's basement, and I just want to see how much they're worth. They've been just collecting dust, and maybe I'd get a couple hundred bucks out of them. You can tell this helmet is from early World War I because it's made out of leather. Later in the war, the Germans were running out of supplies, so they started making them out of felt, and that's how you can tell this is later in the war. Looks like the hat the monkey wears when he rides a little tricycle around the circus. <laughs> For thousands of years, militaries spent lots of time braiding, marching, and doing things for show. Helmets like this were mostly decorative. They definitely weren't bulletproof, and the spike on top was just for looks. It's a neat piece of history. The reason Germany lost World War I is plain and simple. They were running out of supplies. And once the United States got involved, they had no chance. These helmets are incredible. Finding things from World War I in this good a shape is getting harder and harder. Uh, this one's probably an enlisted guy, and this is probably an officer. Generally, 100-year-old leather just falls to pieces. Someone has really taken care of these things over the years. But I just don't know enough about them to really give you a price. I got a friend who specializes in military collectibles, and this is something he definitely deals in. So let me get him down here, and he'll know everything there is to know about him, OK? That'd be great. You just don't see old German military items that much anymore. Collectors love pairs, and hopefully, they'll both be valuable. How's it going? Hey, Rick, how's it going? Good. We got two old German helmets. Ideally, in all things military, from the Revolutionary War up to Vietnam. Well, this is Pickle Hob. This is Pickle Hobbin, plural. <laughs> <laughs> the pickle is the spike, and the Hobbin is the hat. OK. Uh, what you have here is an enlisted ersatz helmet. Ersatz. Ersatz. When they ran out of leather, they would make them out of felt, cardboard. You can see how they put a felt stiffener in the back. Usually, this is metal. So these things started falling out of favor because they were getting a lot of head casualties, you know, due to artillery air bursts. OK. And what's this thing? This is a, a Prussian officer's helmet. Uh, here is a reserve. You can tell that by the cross in the front. You can see where it looks like there's been some repairs done on this. It looks like it's been restitched. Very common for the stitching to, to come undone. The American GIs would pick these up on the battlefield. He might take it off a dead German. He might trade with a prisoner of war. But pickle hobs these days, the leather tends to wear out. There's nothing you can really do about it. So these were better than average specimens. So these would be considered in great shape? Uh, they'd be considered in very good shape. I mean, great would be the stitching original, not, the metal's not touched up. This one I would pretty, put pretty close to great. OK, so what are these worth? Well, the ersatz, um, I would consider this worth about 850, 950. OK, and what's this one going for? Uh, this one, even though it's been touched up, I would consider it worth between 1000 and 1250 OK. All right. Well, thanks, Paul. Well, You're thanks, the best, man. Good seeing you again. So what would you like to do with these? Pawn them, sell them? I like to sell them. OK. And how much you want for them? He's saying 800 I think 2000 would be a good place to start. I'm going to be lucky to get that. You know, we're talking 850 maybe 1000 You know, someone come in here, they're going to try and get a deal on the pair. Um, well, no offense, but really, that's not my problem. It really is. <laughs> I mean, because it's just, it's its tough. No one's buying them at the moment. I'm thinking more like 800 bucks. Is that a piece? No, that's total. All right, how about 1,500? Um, I'll tell you what, my best shot's going to be 1,000 bucks, period. I just can't do 1,000. I, I hate to walk out of here with these things, but. Looks like you're going to have to walk. You can't work with me on this. I'll go 1050. I'll take it. All right, deal. Run him up, chum. All right. When he came back with the $800 offer, I thought, come on, you can do better than that. And now that I got the 1050 in my hand, the blackjack tables, here I come.